And welcome back to another Monday. I've got a uh, I've got an Ubers battle against a guy by the name of uh, I think it was like Sojiro88 or something. I've played Ubers against him before. Is it's a tier I happen to actually end up playing him consistently in because everybody else on my stream just doesn't really do Ubers for whatever reason. But I had enough in this generation. I don't really know if I've actually done an Ubers battle in Gen 6 that I've uploaded to my channel before. Uh, but I mean, I can tell you that I just brought four things that look cool, and then I have Giratina as my physically defensive. Wall and Drapion as my specially defensive wall. Drapion has no business being in Ubers, but I figured I'd try it, see how it works out. Spoilers, it's not great. We'll just jump into it when we get to it. So, for now, he leads off with his Deoxys Speed. I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Eveltal. It is a Choice Scarf one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a U turn right off the bat uh, just to break this thing's potential sash if it does have one. Uh, the worst thing that I think it could do to me is potentially Ice Beam if it does run that. Uh, at least on his set. I don't know that for a fact right now, but. He goes into Blissey just to, you know, sponge the potential Dark Pulse I was going to go for. But I'm going to go to my Drapion just because, you know, getting stuff knocked off fairly early in the game. Nothing wrong with that. Plus, you know, going for a knockoff on a Blissey could hurt it a lot. Uh, just because it doesn't get the extra recovery at the end of the turn. That and it's a physical move. So, why not? Uh, gonna go into his Groudon for the time being, though, and Groudon is gonna get some leftovers knocked off of it right now, but it's not gonna take a lot from the knockoff in the first place, and I don't really have any immediate counters to Groudon. I have something that can switch in and say, hey, you know what, um, this is my response to you, I'm gonna be able to take you out in one shot. I just have things that can keep it at bay, uh, and the main one for this and a lot of other things on his team actually happens to be this Giratina, so... He's going to get up free Stealth Rocks, which kind of rules out the idea that his Deoxys Speed might have them. Um, you know, I've run two Stealth Rockers on a team before. Not common, usually by mistake on my end. Uh, but this thing's going to come in, and it's probably going to have spikes, is what I'm thinking. So... Um, but I'm gonna go for Willis right now just because anything outside of Blissey is not really gonna appreciate the chip damage. He decides to let this thing get burned, that's fine, you know. I, I don't really see it having anything outside of superpower, and I don't have a Blissey myself for it to use superpower on, so whatever, it's fine. Um, it does have Trick though, which it tricks a Choice Scarf onto me, and the first thing I'm thinking is, God damn. This thing is fast. This thing is like the fastest thing alive. Uh, second off, it means that my Drapion is now more or less pointless for the rest of the game, but he can now no longer trick onto anything else. He can't trick that Assault Vest because he can't use Trick in the first place. He can only use attacking moves. That's actually going to be an interesting little pivot into a turn later, which I will definitely hype up when we get to it. Uh, for now, I'm pretty intent on sacrificing this thing uh, here. It's kind of useless at this point now that it doesn't have an Assault Vest. It is fully specially invested, but it's not going to be taking hits from the likes of, like, Dialga. Um, I forgot what else he has on the special attacking end, but yeah, I, I don't have high hopes for it, so... He actually ends up roaring it out, and it's like, well, you know what? If I get a switch into this, I might as well just fire off. I went for the foul play actually expecting it to do more slash for something else to come in? I don't know. I thought, I guess I thought Blissey was going to come in, and it is a physical move that I have going on, so I figured I might as well try going for it. Because uh, the Dark Pulse was really obvious. I would have done a lot, but it turns out they're both... I think Dark Pulse might have been a one-hit KO, because I am a modest, fully invested one, from that range, at least. I don't know. I guess it was pretty safe to go for it, and it was a little bit of a choke on my end. It happens. I don't play Ubers that often. And we move on. So, this is the turn I was talking about, because he's faster than my Evelta, which means he's choiced. And if he is a choiced dragon, locked in on a dragon-type move... Mawile has a free turn to do whatever it wants, including Mega, including Sub, including whatever the shit it wants to do. In my case, it's going to be Mega and Sub. And now that he has the Assault Vest on him, it means he has to go for an attacking move. Has to, has to, has to, has to go for an attacking move. And I do have Sucker Punch, so this turn could not have gone any better for me. Like, looking at it on paper, I would order this on the menu 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The most delicious thing I've seen in a while. So... Uh, Deoxys Speed gonna go down, I scare off the Garchomp, and I'm looking real pretty behind a sub, and let me tell you, Mawile is a real key player on my team, and actually doesn't do terrible in Ubers. Um, it, uh, there's a lot of dragons flying around, uh, having the fairy typing up here is pretty cool, and you two-shot just about anything that you're able to hit, so, uh, if you haven't tried it in Ubers yet, this is my seal of approval right here and now, so... 
Diago is going to go for a fire blast, but because it hits it on the sub, I don't know if it's like an assault vest Diago or if it's like a choice specs one. Uh, I don't see life orb and that's all I really know about it. And I don't see leftovers either. So it could be choice. It could be AV. Uh, it could be some random berry that I'm not taking into consideration, like a chopal berry or like a, a shaka berry or I don't know, something dumb like that. Um, but I don't know what it is, so I don't feel like risking it. So I'm going to switch out and I actually do have my Drapion here as death fodder. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and stick with the initial plan of it being death fodder and i don't know why my video glitched up right there even in a different recording that i did of this like every time earthquake happened that shit happened so let's let's move on from there so i know earthquake isn't going to do a lot to giratina uh anything outside of a dragon move coming off of a guard chomp onto this giratina is not going to do a lot at all so i decided to switch into it and decide to burn once again whatever is going to come in because that's what giratina does best and I believe we're running exactly identical Giratinas outside of the fact that mine has Dragon Tail and his has Roar. Um, I do like being able to sleep talk the Dragon Tail, um, which, I mean, cool and all, but yeah, I, I completely blanked on what I was going to say there because I was like, oh yeah, Dragon Kill can't be taunted, but sleep talk can be taunted. So I guess it really doesn't matter in the long run if you're asleep anyways because it gets shut down by taunt. So... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for a dragon tail right off the bat there and I bring in the one thing that I really did not want to see But because I am physically defensive and I know he's choice scarfed I should be able to rest off whatever he wants to do So it looks dumb that I rest here But I was pretty confident in my ability to take at least one of his hits and I heal off the burn in the process But I don't heal a lot as I end up going for a rest, but I would much rather be asleep then burn because I get more damage off on Dragon Tail and I don't lose the HP at the end of the turn. So this is, while not ideal, not terrible, so it's fine. We just have two Giratina staring each other down. And for the most part, I'm just going to stay in here until he phases me out because I can take his Dragon Tail, especially because he's burned. Um, I'm kind of hoping I get a Dragon Tail of myself or for myself off here slash a phasing move. But I got a WoW well on something that's already burned. He's just going to phase me out, so that's fine. Anything he brings me into... Is honestly going to be fine. Deoxys has an answer for it. Mawile is a good answer for it. And Xerneas is a good answer for it as well. I think everything that I have left is a good matchup on it. So he brings in Deoxys. And I'm just going to fire up Ice Beams. That's what this thing does. Now that I know it doesn't have Dragon Tail. I don't have the fear of being attacked at all. And I'm just going to fire these things off as many as I can. Um, I thought that would be able to take it out. Seeing as how it was super effective and everything. Maybe Psycho Boost was probably the play there. Thinking about it. I think it would have done more, uh, but you know what? It, it came really close in the first place. I guess you can't really blame me for going for that. Right there, I thought because he saw that Ice Beam was a two-hit KO, he was going to go out into Blissey, and I was just going to blast it with the superpower. So, a little bit of a weird thing there, but once again, because he does not have any attacking moves, it wasn't that bad. The worst thing that happened was I lost two PP off a of superpower, which could come into play later if it ends up being Deoxys versus Blissey. Other than that, not a terrible turn, so... I bring in Xerneas because I'm thinking, hey, this is a good opportunity to just fire off Moonblast for free. Uh, but he does sleep talk the roar on this one. So in we go, out we go. It's fine. Xerneas will uh, we'll shine a little bit later. So uh, I, He does bring in Mawile on this one, though. And this is a very scary turn for me because they can go three different ways. I can play rough and he can roar predicting my sub. I can play rough and actually can go four different ways now that I think about it. Um, the first one was I play rough and he roars, which happens here. So that one works out great. The other one is I sub and he willows, which definitely would have worked out good. And the other two bad ones would have been if I subbed and he roared and if I play roughed and he willowed, if that makes sense. There was two move combos that would have worked out great there. But he does roar me out into something else that can take it on. I would have been okay with either Deoxys or Xerneas and I'm... Um, Pretty glad it was Deoxys because I can just pick it off with an Ice Beam. No nonsense there. So Garchomp's going to come in and it turns out it actually is going to outspeed me. This was me being lazy. Now, I could have saved this thing if I really wanted to and switched into, I'm assuming, what probably would have ended up being my Giratina there. Uh, but I didn't bother to check my EV spread. And I guess I just got a safe switch into this thing, which isn't bad either. But losing out on Deoxys could be pretty big if it ends up being Blissey being one of the last ones left. Because uh, I don't have anything super effective against Blissey now. Which means I just have to rely on sheer physical power to try to knock this thing out on that side. So, 
I think I'm gonna go for a rest talk here and do I get I think I get the dragon tail and thankfully I don't miss any of these but it doesn't do as much as I would have wanted it to which is fine because I am a I think I'm an impish Giratina or maybe I'm bold and I'm dumb that looks like bold output I feel like that's supposed to do a little bit more and because of that I, I don't know why I'm bold that's just dumb maybe I'll just do roar instead of dragon tail or I'll just re-import a different one I don't know but I definitely remember that thing being bold for some stupid reason so uh, maybe for foul play I guess I don't know and you're really just aiming to phase that's fine uh i willow on that turn because why not you know get something else burned and it turns out i stay in on this thing like an idiot because i did not know what it was i was like okay if it one shots me from full with a dragon pulse it's specs and if it one shots me with draco which it probably will that means it's specs but no that's dumb because i actually i'm pretty sure it could do that without it because diog is just that much of a monster and now he's minus one, and I definitely don't know what item he is. He could be Assault Vest, he could be Specs. Uh, I'm going on the assumption that he is in fact choice, which is why I'm going to bring this thing in, try to get a repeat of the previous turn, but he's not choice, but he misses Fire Blast. Now, this is big because he dies to the burn, and it means he get a free sub on the rest of his team. So on paper, it looks great. I could have this. I could just go for a Play Rough on the Garchomp as it breaks my sub, and I could go for a Play Rough on a Blissey, and, you know, I should be good to go. But the one thing that we're not taking into consideration is karma and how much of a royal bitch it can be. Because, for one, I haven't missed anything yet. For, for number two, play rough is a chance to miss as it does right there. So, right off the bat, we, were, we had the game in the bag and it just jumped out of the bag and just tried running away again. So, that's what happens. All I can really do right now is go for a sucker punch. And I have a Xerneas left right here, which is the one thing I'm kind of scared about whether or not I'm going to whiff anything with it. I have to rely on the fact that I should be able to take, after two rock switch-ins, an Earthquake and still be able to two-shot Blissey uh, or one-shot it. Uh, I do have Psy Shock on this thing and it is a modest Xerneas, but it's not Stab, so I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to pull some magic off with it. But... I'm gonna go for Geomancy, uh, just to be able to outspeed it on the next turn, knock it out with the Moonblast. That's fine, that's what I was counting on on paper, because it is a Choice Scarfed 1. I'm thinking it's a Jolly Choice Scarfed 1, because that Earthquake doesn't look like it does enough at all. Um, but I should be able to outspeed it after this one, knock it out with Moonblast, and then I got a 1v1 versus Blissey. And like I said, if I can two-shot it, then I win. Otherwise, if I don't, I lose, uh, owing to the fact that it can size me toss a few times. And the number of HP that it leaves me at is relevant, because it'll take two to take me out. If I was a little bit lower, and I know Psy Shock's not going to take it out from there, I haven't done enough damage to it. It does a lot. It, like, that's maybe like one or two rock switch-ins, which I don't think I actually got up. But I live the Seismic Toss on two, and I'm actually able to knock it out with another Psy Shock. So if he got maybe just a little bit more damage off on that Earthquake, if it was possible, would have been a different game, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure how much Moonblast would have done to it. I just felt safer going for Psy Shock. I'm pretty sure they both would have been two hit KOs, because Blissey's just disgusting like that. But... That was an Ubers match that I somehow won with only 2 HP, and I thought it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. Drapion didn't really do a lot. It was basically like I was playing without it, and it didn't really do a lot. So, anyways, hope you guys did too. If you did, you can leave a like rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Uh, you know how it works around here. Uh, I did record a Christmas battle kind of thing. I think I'm actually going to upload that on New Year's, so it's actually like exactly a week late, because that's how I roll. And I've got a couple of other games too from the stream, and I think I might stream tomorrow. That seems like a fun thing to do. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.